So, speaking of driving in a car, Rich is at, on dun, YouTube dun, dun, is asking. Found that wearing a sporn while driving can be uncomfortable and awkward with a seatbelt. Yeah. Are there any quick release sporn chains or any other options that he could do while he gets in the car? I got three right off the top of my dome. Um, one, sporn strap. Um, if you wear a sporn strap like I have on here, you can just slide it to the side. You don't have to worry about it. Two, take off the damn sporn. Um, every what, every sporn chain is a quick release because you have a little clippy ring yep. here. Just you have those little tiny clips on the back of the sporn that hook onto the D rings. Um, number one, always clip those away from the kilt. So if they scratch anything, they scratch the back of the sporn. They do not, you know, pick at the front of the kilt. You do not have to like when I have when I wear a sporn chain. I don't actually adjust the chain and the belt in the back. I just dis I do that once and then I disconnect it from the back of the spore and I hold the spore up and out a little bit in front of me and I just hit yeah. disconnect it. Same. If you're really, really, it bothers you and you want an easier way to do it, um, there's something called scissor clips, um, which are a similar uh, type of mechanism, which you can, you know, it's, it's going to take a little bit of doing, but you can get them small ish, I mean, let's say like that long. Where it's like literally one button push down, and it, there are two hooks that mm -hmm. kind of you know do this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then you can use those on the back of the spore, or even just one of them. Just disconnect that one particular side. Oh, that's um, true. But you need them they're a little bulky. But correct, they're a little bit bulky, and you need them short enough that they don't stick out beyond the side of the sporin. Mm -hmm. But you could do something like that. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. I do my best. Yeah, I have a okay. I have a uh, a key fob from Lee River. Okay. Uh, that has that, you know, the scissor clip. Yep. Putting the putting the keys on. So Yep. Yeah. That's the official name for it. So if you want to go like Google it, um something like Weaver Leather, I think used to sell them. There's a few that were Tandy Leather, there's another one. Um they sell scissor scissor clips, but you'll have to figure out a way to get the chain attached to the bottom of it. Awesome. Sorry. I've I've never personally had a problem with just undoing the regular the clip from the sporn chain in the front. I mean I, that's why I do same like you. I learned it from you. Yeah, but I do that with. I learned by watching you, all right. I almost never adjust the buckle on my sporn chains unless I'm going from wearing the sporn chain with a wool kilt and then go to a PV kilt because there's so much less bulk. You know, I just have to tighten it up a little bit. But um, your other point, I'm surprised you're not making it, is um, sporn chain buckles and car seats. You might wanna might wanna mention that. <laughs> Every time we go to a Celtic Classic, there is an announcement. Every time I have my entire like five person crew get in the Pretty car, boarding announcement. Flip, yeah, boarding <laughs> announcement. Exactly. <laughs> Flip your spore and chain over. Um, what I learned was, you know, when I used to uh, wear my spore and chain and it had the little little buckle in the dead center back of the kilt, um, I had my my first Chevy Avalanche, and I had I like literally ate a hole in the leather seat because the little like swing arm on the oh. buckle, yeah, the tongue on the buckle, would hit, would sit on the leather seat. So like sliding in or sliding out and kind of moving around, it would just scratch and scratch and scratch at the leather. So I took to every time I got in the car, I would literally just take my back of my sporn chain and flip it over so that the tongue was hitting the back of my kilt. And then you get out of the truck and you flip it back over to the other direction. So, yeah, every time people get in my vehicle wearing a sporin, I make an announcement. If I have leather seats... Flip your damn spore <laughs> chain over. Don't ruin my seats. I'm so sorry. I know. How dare you? I'm so sorry. And the problem is now I do it automatically getting in my vehicle now. And I don't have, well, I think, yeah, I didn't have leather seats. And I still did it. I'm like, oh, I got to flip it over. Yeah. Don't Rocky yell right. at me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Same. He's hitting his nightmares. No, I'm sorry, Rocky. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Flip the spore chain. It's like or the karate kid. <laughs> flip the spore chain. Sweep the pleats. Sweep the leg. Sweep the pleats. Indeed. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that's there are a couple of ways you can just yeah. take a sporn off yeah, just when you're driving. It. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so Patrick was was uh, critiquing us for our outro for this video. So Patrick, why don't you go ahead and uh, give us a, a, a nice proper outro? How do you feel about that? Patrick? Oh, about wearing the sporn while driving. Um, Rocky. Had... <laughs> yeah, this is hard. Um, let me think for a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, Watch oh. those videos over there. Thanks. <laughs>